Okay, friends, I've got you as close as I can possibly get you. I have you on my camera stand on top of my table. This is as close as it's gonna get. How pitiful do these tulips look behind me? <laughs> they were so pretty yesterday and blooming and thriving. And then I opened this window to give them light and they just went like, pew, like, I don't know what I did wrong, but I don't wanna get rid of them because I think they're still pretty. They just look really sad, so. All right, we're gonna be using the Ardell Magnetic Lashes. Now, what scares me about these is that these are the upper lashes and then these are the lower lashes, I guess, but those lower lashes, I don't know if you guys can see that. Let's wait for the camera to focus. Look at how long those lower lashes are, where it says under, these are the lower lashes. First of all, I've never done lower lashes. Second of all, are lower lashes supposed to be that long? I don't know, but they're magnetic. It's supposed to be easy. It says gently remove upper magnetic lash tray and lay on top of your natural lash line. Okay. Um, it says care to extend the life of these lashes, store lashes and tray when not in use. This should be interesting. Oh God, I can't even get it open. Let me get some scissors. Okay, let's do this. Let me take it out of here. I'm trying to be gentle. Okay, I don't know why I'm so nervous. I've put on like a thousand lashes over the years. So you take it off. Oh, I just dropped it. Okay, let's do this, friends. They feel like normal lashes. They don't feel like super heavy or thick or anything. It feels normal. Let's try this. Um, it's not as easy as they say. Like it's not just laying on my lash line. It feels like there should be some glue or something. Gently remove upper magnetic lash from tray. Like right now it's falling off. I don't know if you can see that. And lay on top of your natural lash line. Oh, then you gently remove the under magnetic lash from the tray and place beneath your natural lash line to connect the two magnetic lashes together. Oh. So it's not, oh my God, total dum dum moment. These aren't, like these are the upper lashes. So you put these on first, then you put these on under the lash. So like you kind of double them, but it's all on the top lash line. Okay, that makes sense because I was like, what in the hell? I have never seen, I thought under meant those are lower lash line lashes. Okay, focus camera. So I thought under meant lower lash line lashes, but what you do is you basically stack them. Please excuse my nails, I need to do them. So that makes more sense, because I was like, what in the hell? I have never seen lower lashes like that. So let me get the under out. And so essentially you stack them and I guess they stick together. Ooh, do you guys see that? Let me show you. So these, this is the upper, this is the lower. Oh my God, there's something on my nails. So this is the upper lash, this is the lower lash. Look, oh my God, they're like pulling to get to each other. That's so crazy. And then they stick together. That's crazy. Okay, let's try this again. So let's put this one on. What's funny is it says, just lay it on your lash line. It doesn't really lay, but maybe it'll all make sense once I put this one on. What? No. You guys. <laughs> it's not happening as easy as it is on the box. What? What am I doing wrong? Why is it not working for me? Okay, I'm gonna try again. The first one on your lower, in your natural 
lash line. It doesn't stay. Oh, God. Okay, friends, this is a total fail. Um, they, I just tried off camera for like 10 minutes to make this work because I didn't want to bore you guys. The thing is, they stick together. I don't know if you can see this. They stick to everything except my eye. Look at that. It's sticking to my mirror. I dropped it and it literally sticked to my mirror. <laughs> Stuck? Not sticked. Stuck to my mirror. So here's the thing. They're cool. Yeah, great. They stick together like this. Like, that's cool. Oh, wow. That's so awesome. These lashes can stick together. How amazing. But they don't stick to your eye. Um... So what's the point? It's kind of gimmicky. I don't know. Am I doing something wrong? I'm following the instructions on the box. They literally give you two instructions. It says put on the upper one first, then put on the under one under it. So you stack them and they're just supposed to stick to your lash line, but they don't. If any of you have been able to make this work, please let me know in the comments down below because it does not work for me. And I really like the shape of the lash. I feel like it's really pretty. It's really full. It can look really natural, but still giving you nice full lashes, but they don't stick. So is it okay if I just use some lash glue with these or is that bad because they're magnetic? Because I don't want to just get rid of them, but they don't work for me. If any of you have been able to use them and they work for you, please let me know in the comments down below because they do not work for me. I didn't want to keep boring you guys and just showing you me trying to apply them. I literally spent like 10, 15 minutes off camera trying to make them work and they don't. So let's jump into product reviews. If you're new around here, I do this at the end of my videos where I show you products either I've been loving, not loving, or any products that have been sent to me. So let's jump into it. Well, that's a shame. I really wanted those lashes to work. I'm going to keep trying to play with them because I feel like they could be cool, but maybe they just don't work for me, or maybe they work for other people. I don't know. I really wanted those to work. So everything I'm about to show you is actually brand new to me. I'm going to be trying it over the, well, as I film this, it's new to me. As I do these updates, sometimes I've already used them, but in this video that I'm filming right now, these are new. So first up, we have the number seven Instant Results Hydro Gel Eye Mask. It says powerful radiance boost for bright and awake looking eyes. I have been come, I have been come, I have become obsessed with eye masks. Um, I've tried them from Patchology. I've tried them from uh, Skin Iceland. So I'm so excited to try these. And what I love about eye mask is that you really only need to leave them on for like, I don't know, all the ones I've tried so far, you only need to leave them on for like 10 minutes. And I feel like they just make my under eyes so soft and just looking amazing. So I'm excited to try these. They come in little packets. How many do you get? You get one, two, three, four, five packets down below and they contain two eye masks, one for each mask. It says suitable for sensitive skin hydrogel technology. So how long do you leave these on? Yep, it says relax for 10 to 15 minutes. You put it on, remove and gently massage any remaining essence into the skin. Number seven is fairly new to me. I told you guys I wanna try more affordable products and um, I've been using their vitamin C serum, which I really like. It's lightweight, soaks into the skin and I feel like it really moisturizes my skin. I've been using their blush. I actually have their blush on now, but you can't see it as much because I'm becoming oily again. Um, it was like called Cherry Blush or something. I'll leave a link to the blush down below. So if you guys want to see a dedicated video on this, let me know. But I'm going to be doing a skincare video. Um, so I'll probably be featuring a lot of the stuff I'm about to talk to you about. Something that's new from Clarins, this is their SOS Primer, and this is the green one. They have a couple different ones. There's a green one, there's a salmon one. Um, there's a whole range of these that do different things, but this one diminishes redness, and you wouldn't think that a brown girl has redness, but I am starting to get red, like, breakouts. It's a mess. My skin is going through some type of transition. So it says, this color-correcting moisturizer preps the skin for makeup applied directly to skin or mix with foundation for a natural luminous finish. I thought this was so cool. So it's like a moisturizer, a primer, and a color corrector. So it basically can do three separate things. I just thought that was so cool. So what else does it say? Uh, visibly corrects, revives, and visibly brightens the complexion. These primers prepare the skin for further makeup application and enhance overall wear. The results are simply stunning. So much more than just color, SOS Primer also provides real skin care benefits. 
Oh, that's good. Each formula is enriched with organic sea lily extract, offering the skin 24 hour moisture because hallelujah, I need that because my skin has been dry. Oh, so they have the colors here. So universal light boost radiance, rose minimizes signs of fatigue, champagne blurs imperfections, Coral visibly minimizes dark spots. Green, which is the one I have, diminishes redness. And lavender visibly brightens sallow skin. So it says non codomogenic which just means it won't clog your pores and oil-free. I'm excited to try this. I love most of the things I've tried from Clarins. Their eyeshadow, their four-color eyeshadow palette that I showed you guys a couple weeks ago. I've been using that. Love that. I really liked their lip oils, so I'm excited to try that. And next up, we have two goodies from... Estee Lauder. I feel like a lot of people don't talk about Estee Lauder here on YouTube. I don't know why. I think a lot of people kind of like feel like it's an older brand because my mom used Estee Lauder, my grandma uses Estee Lauder, but I actually love their products and I feel like a lot of people don't talk about it. Um, okay, so we have two things from Estee Lauder. First up, we have the Perfectly Clean Triple Action Cleanser Toner Makeup Remover. How cool is that? It's a cleanser, toner, and makeup remover. It says it's for all skin types. So use AM and PM, shake well, gently massage onto dry skin and rinse off. Ooh, dry skin. Okay, there's no smell. Let's shake it. It kind of looks like a white milky substance in there. Oh, it comes out like a foam. Let's see if it'll take, <gasps> Oh my gosh, guys, I had swatches of makeup on my skin and it's all gone. It was like a bright blue eyeshadow. I don't know if you saw that. That is crazy. Look, it's all coming off there. Ooh, I'm excited to try that. Ooh, it does have a very fresh, lightly like floral scent, but it's not overwhelming. I know some people don't like scented stuff in their skincare. I like it because I feel like it makes my skin smell nice, but I know some people don't like it, but it says it's for all skin types. That is amazing. It took everything off my skin. Ooh, I'm excited to try that. And next up from Estee Lauder, we have their Nightwear Plus 3-Minute Detox Mask. So you really only leave this on for three minutes? It says smooth over clean skin in a th thin layer after three minutes, lightly massage with warm water and rinse thoroughly. Avoid eye area. It says a super fast, super fresh, super purifying liquid light clay mask dries in minutes. I really like a uh, clay mask when my skin is oily. It says drawing out built up impurities to liven up lackluster skin helps absorb accumulated toxins and debris. So pores look refreshed and skin is reset to a beautiful balance. I'd probably use this all over my T-zone and um, on my cheek area because that's where I have my larger pores. So I'm excited to try this. This has a, is this what I was smelling? No. Oh yeah. This has like a light, like fresh ocean breeze scent. I really like that scent and I like the packaging. I love this color. So I'm excited to try all this out. I'm gonna be trying it out in a skincare video, so keep your eyes open for that. The magnetic lashes were a fail. I'm gonna keep trying to play with them over the next couple weeks, and I'll let you guys know what happens. That is it for me. Don't forget to check out the videos on the screen. Subscribe if you haven't already. Give this video a thumbs up, and I will see you soon. Bye.